You know, they say the only thing certain in life is death and taxes, but I'd like to add a third. The unpredictability of the housing market. It's like a wild beast, sometimes calm and serene, and other times, it's as if it's had one too many cups of coffee. And just when you think you've got it all figured out, it throws you a curveball. Now don't let this scare you. In fact, it's this very unpredictability that makes the housing market such an exciting arena. It's a bit like a game of chess where every move counts and the victor is the one who's prepared, who knows the game inside out. So if you're interested in learning how to navigate this roller coaster of a market, stick around. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things finance. So, what exactly is a housing market crash, you ask? Well, in the simplest terms, a housing market crash is a rapid drop in the value of housing prices across a significant part of the housing market. This usually happens when there's an imbalance in supply and demand, when there are more homes for sale than there are buyers, prices go down. Conversely, when there are more buyers than homes for sale, prices go up, but sometimes things can get a little out of hand. Imagine a scenario where everyone and their dog wants to buy a house. Prices skyrocket, lenders are giving out loans like candy on Halloween, and it seems like the good times will never end. But then, the music stops. The economy takes a hit, jobs are lost, and suddenly, those sky-high mortgages aren't so easy to pay off. Homeowners default on their loans, banks are left holding the bag, and the housing market comes crashing down. This, my friends, is a housing market crash. So how can we spot the signs of an impending crash? Well, one major red flag is a rapid increase in housing prices that far outpaces wage growth. If houses are becoming unaffordable for the average person, that's a problem. Another sign is an increase in risky lending practices. If banks are giving loans to people who might not be able to pay them back, that's also a problem. Inflation, unemployment rates, and economic instability can also contribute to a housing market crash, when the economy is struggling, people are less likely to buy homes, and those who already own homes might struggle to keep up with their mortgage payments. Now that we've established what a crash looks like, let's delve into some strategies to prepare for it. First and foremost, get your finances in order. It's a straightforward phrase, isn't it? Yet it's often easier said than done, but don't fret, because we're here to break it down for you. Imagine your financial health as a towering skyscraper. A skyscraper's strength lies in its foundation. Similarly, a robust financial plan is the foundation of your financial health. Now what makes up this foundation? Three key elements, managing debts, building a strong credit score, and saving for a rainy day. Let's start with managing debts. Debts are like weeds in your financial garden. They can grow quickly, overtaking your hard-earned money, but just like weeds, they can be controlled. Consolidate your debts, prioritize them, and establish a repayment plan. This isn't about making them disappear overnight, it's about smart management. Next, let's talk credit score. Think of it as your financial reputation. A high credit score can open doors to better interest rates and more favorable loan terms. So how do you build a strong credit score? Simple. Pay your bills on time, keep your credit card balances low and avoid unnecessary loans. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is your credit score. It takes time, patience, and discipline. Finally, let's discuss savings. Think of savings as your financial umbrella, ready to shield you from the rains of unexpected expenses. Start by setting aside a small portion of your income regularly. It doesn't have to be a large amount. What matters is consistency. Over time, these small amounts add up, forming a substantial safety net. So, there you have it. The three pillars of a robust financial foundation, managing debts, building a strong credit score, and saving for a rainy day. It's not rocket science, but it does require commitment and discipline. It's about making small, consistent steps towards a larger goal. Remember, a strong financial foundation can weather any storm. So, start laying your foundation today, because every journey begins with a single step. Next up, let's talk about investing. Now, investing might seem like a high-stakes poker game, but it's more akin to a marathon than a sprint. It's about patience, strategy, and most importantly, diversification. Think of it as not putting all your eggs in one basket, especially when that basket is the housing market, which can be as unpredictable as the weather. So how do you diversify? Simple. Spread your assets across various investment types like stocks, bonds, real estate, and even commodities. This way, even if one sector takes a hit, your overall portfolio can remain stable. It's like having a spotter to catch you during a trapeze act. Now let's move to the subject of long-term investment strategies. It's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day fluctuations of the market and make impulsive decisions. But remember, investing is a long game. 
you're planting seeds now for a harvest years down the line, so don't be swayed by short-term losses. Stick to your plan, and over time, the gains should outweigh the losses. Also, consider investing in sectors that tend to perform well during economic downturns. These are known as defensive stocks. They are companies and industries like utilities, healthcare, and consumer goods, which people will always need, regardless of the economy. Lastly, educate yourself. Stay informed about the latest market trends and economic indicators. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to investing. There are plenty of resources out there from books to online courses that can help you become a savvy investor. So, to sum it up, diversify your portfolio, think long-term, consider defensive stocks and never stop learning. Investing wisely can be your lifeboat in a sea of economic uncertainty. Knowledge and connections are power in the housing market. Ah, the old adage, it's as true in real estate as it is in life. When navigating the turbulent seas of a potential housing market crash, your best compass and anchor are the relationships you build and the knowledge you acquire. Now let's talk about relationships. You might be thinking, I don't need any more friends, but we're not talking about your Saturday night poker group. We're talking about building relationships with financial institutions and real estate experts. These are the folks who can help you weather the storm and come out the other side with your finances intact. Financial institutions can offer you valuable insights into market trends and investment options. They've got their finger on the pulse of the housing market, and they can guide you in making informed decisions. So, don't be shy. Reach out, ask questions, and build those bridges. As for real estate experts, they're the lighthouse guiding you through the fog. They can help you understand the intricacies of the market, identify potential opportunities, and avoid the pitfalls. A good real estate expert is worth their weight in gold, so seek them out and listen to their wisdom. Next, let's talk about studying the market. This isn't about cramming for an exam the night before. Studying the market is about continuous, active learning. It's about keeping an eye on market trends, understanding the factors that influence housing prices, and staying informed about the economic landscape. There are plenty of resources out there, from online articles to market analysis reports. So arm yourself with knowledge. It's your best defense against the unexpected. Remember this, the housing market is like a game of chess. To win, you need to understand the game, know your pieces, and anticipate your opponent's moves. Building relationships and studying the market are your key strategies to come out on top. Keep your friends close, your bankers closer, and the housing market closest. All right, let's recap what we've learned. We've delved into the importance of getting your financial house in order ahead of a potential housing market crash. This means budgeting wisely, cutting unnecessary expenses, and saving diligently. We've also discussed the significance of learning to invest, and not just in real estate. Diversifying your portfolio can help cushion the blow of a market downturn, and potentially even provide opportunities for growth. Furthermore, we've underscored the value of building relationships with financial institutions and real estate professionals. They can offer valuable insights and advice, helping you make informed decisions. And finally, we've highlighted the necessity of studying the market. Understanding trends and patterns in the housing market can give you a leg up when it comes to predicting and preparing for a crash. Remember, preparation is key when it comes to navigating a housing market crash. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more financial wisdom.